I want to introduce you to the bridge. This is me, myself, and I, James Green, aka Jim Powers. And this right here is my man, Brian Moore. Alright, and we are the brains behind the bridge. You know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna come at a topic that is that is been floating around hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's a it's a topic that <coughs> is is very important to to definitely my people. You know what I mean? And um, just pe people in general, because it, to me that shows a sense of fairness. Sure. You know, if 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 if, if in any situ situation and circumstance in life that someone is at fault or bringing you trauma, pain, or any type of injury, it's like, a doctor, injury. It's like doctors have there to pay. The doctors have to pay out uh, what they call it uh, the it's like lawsuit. Lawsuit. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's malpractice. There you go. And that's what reparations really is. All it is is just uh, compensation for. The injury or discrimination. Yeah, but it, 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 it goes even before. It goes even further. Just the discrimination. Yeah, it was the, you know what I mean? Slavery. It was murder. It was. It was True. any any horror that you can affix to <laughs> a civilization. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to definitely say, for me, in the beginning of this conversation, I gotta let you really roll with that because difficult subject for me to speak on because yeah. I've never, I, I've never, I, I've not been on that side. Yeah. I, I can't even, I, I don't have a natural feeling of yeah. that to under, to even go, well, I feel like I should be getting uh, uh, something of somehow. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, but see, the thing about it is justice. It's equal justice. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know I, what I mean? The, 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 you, I, I would understand want you, the justice part of it, the yeah. fairness part of it. But you don't know the, the, the total the, extent of right. what it's, we... It's difficult as, as a Caucasian or a white American to eat. That's a tough subject for me. I'll be yeah. honest. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep drinking. <laughs> Hopefully it's just some real shit. It'll be, it'll be honest and truthful. Oh. I mean, we that's one thing me and James guarantee when we bring this to you guys. Definitely. You're going to get honesty and truthful. All day. All day. And what do you think? Should I mean? It, what do you think? Should, should it be reparation? Should how it should? It, I mean, should it take place? Uh, I mean, how do you how do you start something that's hundreds and hundreds of years old, and the people that actually did the true suffering can no longer be compensated? But the, the, the true suffering still happened. Now we don't have the 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 the, the, uh, the pain and anguish of the days that they of the, what those people went through. Yeah, but we we, we kind of still do. You know what I mean? Because in our in our in our communities, we still go through the 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 slavery, which is basically the the, the prison system now. That's you know big what business. I mean? That's big business. We also go through the brutality. You know what I mean? Dealing with police or just just with the the the, the, the introduction of drugs into right. our community, introduction of, 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 of guns, Alcohol. this that and the third, everything. That looks to diminish the ability and capacity of a community to thrive has been placed in our in our environment. So, the, the to try to quantify because it's qualified, but to quantify to actually put a, a price on it. Yeah, that oh, excuse me. I don't know, price and for who? But it would it would it would just it would be just like in a lawsuit. You would have to have what documentation of, of some type of ancestry of people that. We're definitely slave or, or how, <laughs> all you gotta do is look at my skin. Now, the only thing that I can try to link back to slavery is actually follow my name to whatever plantation. Right, that's what I mean. How do, how do we how do we calculate does, does everybody that has uh, that is uh, born of black persuasion receive um, compensation? I would I or would born think at, so. born of a certain year and time and date or I, I would think how would we do that? I would think that it would come from those who can prove that they are of American ancestry. I think that's fair too. You know what I'm saying? I think that's fair too. It wouldn't come from people that's 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 coming from overseas or whatever, not like that. that. Come in, very in a sense where it would be as far as the reparations for blacks here in America. Now 
the blacks that are uh, placed all over the other world, then they have an issue that they should uh, 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 sue for as well because of all the, 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 the raping of the, the, the environment and natural resources. So, you know, we can look at it in a big picture as far as, um, you know. I, should the Native American Indian be, oh, be included? Definitely. Yes, but see, right? but see, the thing about it is. They, that's a whole separate, I mean, it's the same thing, but different. But they have sort of preparation mm. because for one, Land was a lot, even though uh, 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 they were stripped away. They were stripped away. Oh, yeah. They they gave them land and they gave them a lot of like tax exemptions. All types of exemptions. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? You go on the Indian reservation right now, you get all kind of breaks. That's right. That's why they open a lot of Indians open up uh, casinos and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? We don't have that. We don't no, have don't. none of that. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is we definitely deserve something. But then what does it come down to? Yeah. Because a lot of people try to say that affirmative action was a form of reparations. And I'm like, well, how would affirmative action be a form of reparations? I can see reparation? where people get that thought process. I mean, it's not hard to see where to get that thought process. But affirmative action doesn't, doesn't fix a systemic problem. Right. Affirmative action puts you in a position where you can get a menial job that you can go to a school that is high priced yeah you know that will put you in debt I mean it'll put you in a situation where you can quasi contend but the system around it is still to the point where you got uh, you got this quota system mm -hmm. that, that, that you deal with jobs you know what I'm saying like we got to have certain amount of, of people of minority uh, uh, yeah, characteristics yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean to be to be exempt in this far as this this tax or whatever not like that you know what I mean so is it is it is that actual repayment of America doing what it's supposed to do so, for all right so let me ask you this so just just from my side and I, okay. I agree that I, I'm not in disagreement with anything James is saying guys that there okay. that there's supposed to be some kind of something done yeah but does that oh what did we do we didn't stop did we no no okay we, we should so be good. i know that this i'm just just so that we can get right down <laughs> to it shouldn't is this something like if the government poses this let's just say six months from now they decide to come over the plan and that uh th that gives benefits to people who have suffered from sl from the slavery from mm -hmm. That, and they decide to pull it out of tax dollars off. Uh, is that fair to me? Would yeah. That, it is? Yeah. Why? Because, because white people are still reaping the benefit of slavery. I'm not. Yes, you are. How am I? By the benefit of you. See, the thing about it is. What benefit of slavery no, 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 have no, no, I ever no, no, seen? Listen, no, what I'm saying is. Uh, check this out. By the benefit of you having white skin, right. you have a leg up. You have a leg up in every aspect of American society. You know what I mean? Because you 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 choose not to. And I want to say you choose not to, but you have the ability to take advantage of every opportunity that privilege affords you. We can. What can't you do that I can? Succeed totally as a as a people. In America, individually, you you don't have inter, individual crusaders who might can utilize they they, they sports ability. You know what I mean? You musical might, talent, musical talent. But at the end of the day, there's a ceiling that is placed. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So you know you're saying? saying that that even if me and you both reach this spot, yeah, that's where you're gonna that's cap out, gonna and stop. I'll still and have opportunity to grow. grow. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's like you see somebody so, like Jay Z or. So let's say our podcast starts to take off in a mm -hmm. tremendous bounce and we end up mm -hmm. nationally televised and then yeah. cable mm -hmm. and all that. Are we going to reach a spot where they're going to say, okay, uh, Mr. Moore, we'd like to take this further, mm -hmm. but Mr. Green ain't allowed to go on that journey yeah. with you? Yeah. See, that that's a potential. That's very, very a, a, a likelihood. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, you know, because I have a. I don't want to say my views are more radical, but my views are are 
somewhat controversial. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Where your he views is more in alignment with with the, the ebb and flow of America. I'm more, I don't want to say anti-America, but I'm anti what America has done and continues to do. Yeah, I think that's a fair statement. You know I don't think saying? you're anti-America. No, 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 no. I think you would fight for this country yeah, just yeah, to save this I was in the military. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? The, the, the thing about it is, you know, but the way the world is framed for people of color, right? It's, 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 it has barriers, it has, it has, um, um, restrictions. restrictions, you know what I'm saying? When you go into, when you go, you, you, you see a, a, a difference, me, myself, I see a difference when I go into, uh, 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 a certain portion of, of, of Baltimore, or just anywhere. Right. You see a, a certain cavalierness with, with, with white people. As they walking around, cause it's like this land, it's like they singing this land is my land, this land is you know what I mean? I get what you're saying. And they hear, whereas people of color, specifically black and brown, we walking around and we gotta constantly look over our shoulder to wonder if we stand within the parameters of civil obedience. Because we have to worry about somebody getting on the phone and saying, hey. This black person is over here doing this, and then next thing you know, we're accosted by fucking police, and a situation turns into something traumatic. You know what I mean? Just because somebody else is is uncomfortable, and that's that's what puts your privilege. You get to live that life because you don't have to walk around and worry about that. We worry about that on the daily. Every time I drive. You know what I mean? Right. Every time I drive, it's like, even though I'm doing the speed limit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm looking over my fucking shoulders. Like I said, the only time I think I've ever felt like that, and, and I think that's because predominantly through my late teens, uh, through my mid-teens, my early 20s, even now, all of, my, all of my close friends and the people that are in my inner circle are all black Americans. Um, yeah. These are these are not like five and ten year friendships. These are people that are, are considered family. These are 30, 35, 40 year friendships that I've had with these um, men and women. And I have been through some a little bit of what James is talking about, especially back in my late teens and early twenties, where I would be the only white guy hanging out with a bunch of other brothers <laughs> in a car going down the street yeah. smoking, whether it was smoking dope and drinking or whatever it was we were doing. I was always in fear that I had put myself in a bad position. Yeah. Like, am I making the smart choice being there? With, <laughs> because I already know they're yeah. more likely to get hemmed up than I. Yeah. So I was self-aware of that. Yes. I, you know, I'll be honest. And that's but, privilege. But I chose to be where I was at. Wow. Yeah. The wild side. Yeah. It's what I call the wild side. But it was a choice I made uh -huh. because. I didn't feel like it should matter color of skin. If, if we're doing wrong, we're doing wrong. Yeah. Bottom line. White, black, brown, yellow. If we're out there smoking weed and drinking where we're not supposed to be and we get caught, that's it. But we're the caught. repercussions are totally different. Because I walk with, like when I came out to the county and started chilling with a bunch of white cats, especially when I was in the military. Because that's all I was around. I like rock music and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling around with the white dudes. I went, I went classic Jimmy today. There you go, there you go all day. You know what I'm so, so, when I'm hanging around with my white dudes and police come around, it's a totally different atmosphere. Oh, so, so you guys get the you get to experience it from that perspective yeah. too. And that's why I'm like looking around like, wow, you know what I'm saying? They friendly. That's where officer friendly comes from. You know what I mean? Where, where the, the cop is, hi, how you doing? And da, 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 da. And they don't really accost you. They'll give me looks. They like, yeah, what you doing with him? But then they be like, well, if he's with these guys, then he must, must be, be okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I got it from that end. And I also got it from the other end where I'm just with my peoples and police are roll up on it. Uh, get out the car. Get against the car. Huh? What the hell? You know what I'm saying? I'm just standing on the corner waiting to go across the street to the store. And this all systematically extends from slavery days. Yes. Everything. That's fair. Everything. Everything. That is the black experience now is a continuation of slavery. All they did was change it. We have never been truly free in this country. 
They said, even though Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, they still set up laws to keep us bound to the plantation. You know what I'm saying? The plantation is a miracle, for whether it's corporations, whether right. it's it's certain territories, the ghetto, whether it's schooling, whether it's whatever, you know what I mean? Jim Crow laws were set up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, 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 look, I, I get it, your staircase doesn't go as, as high as mine does. Definitely. So my whole thing is, if America sits and preaches equality for all men, every man is, is seen under the eyes of God, okay. the same. Then, if you are, are that self-conscious, self-aware of what the history of this land has done to multitudes of people, then you are responsible for making those people right. I'm aware, I'm aware of those things, but in no part did I take in making it that way. But see, the thing about it is, your ancestors, unless your ancestors... I can only control myself. But, but the thing about it is... You're asking effects, me to pay for something I had nothing to do with. But the effects are still happening now. Unless you, you are up in the face of oppression and the oppressor actually fighting right alongside with us, changing laws, this, that, and the third, then yeah, as far as, as, far as a financial restitution, yeah, you know what I mean? But we don't look at, well, I'm gonna say I don't look at reparations as just something that is financial. financial. Yeah. I look at reparations as you getting out there, making things right. When you notice something wrong, get out there and make it right. Don't look at it and worry about your You shrug your shoulders and say that doesn't affect me. Yes, because if you're American, if it affect me, it should affect that you. Me. You know I'm, what in saying? I'm in agreement with that. We're in the same house. I'm in agreement with that because when you said it should be fair for everyone, that's the only part my statement was. I wasn't saying that I don't think that I shouldn't do my best to open people's minds mm -hmm. to what's taking place or to um, to do what I'm doing here with James to help open to open up people's minds mm -hmm. and to help them broaden their thought process yeah. to see that there there's things that need to be changed. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't feel like I've heard some other people that are a lot more extreme than you uh, express like that. That's why I asked you about the thing. So if they came up with this should come out of my taxes to financially uh, reconcile it with some people, uh -huh. why should I have to fork, fork that bill? But the thing about it is, you things see what I'm saying? Yes. That doesn't make it fair to me at that point. I've had nothing to do with but that. But see, I'm like this. If, if money come out of your wallet mm -hmm. every day for social services programs anyway, Right. You know what I'm saying? That I can barely get access to as an American. But the, but I'm saying, the government takes money out of your shit. Yes. And allocate it to a lot of bullshit that they're doing. Sure. So if we can take a chunk of the bullshit, the money that's allocated towards that bullshit, and disperse it to people in, in the form of actual grants, you don't have to give me, uh, say, a check uh, like a like an income tax check or something like that. Right. You know what I mean? You what you do is make it accessible. Business you mean, uh, for, uh, for business, business grant, uh, but the things that look nature because I'm start I started a business, but it's hard for me to get a loan because of my credit. So if you want to give me reparations, lower the credit uh, uh, requirement. Give me and I'll I'll yeah. do it yeah. myself. I I don't disagree with the fact that. The government should be able to provide for those that are Americans and that have been through, uh, because they are black, that have mm -hmm. suffered from this, that they should be given these business opportunities that we're forwarding to people that aren't even legal immigrants in this country. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm far from uh, somebody who is against immigration. I'm not. Uh, my my ex-fiance was from Peru. I, I love I love her and her daughter Jeff still dearly. They came into the country the right way though. Uh, <laughs> they they did they went through the process. Yeah. They came through they went through a struggle yeah. to get here. Yeah. And it's even unfair to those who go through that struggle yeah. to have hundreds of thousands coming through illegally and then taking up money that James is talking about yeah. going towards black American youth and, uh, and people that deserve 
something for what they've been through, the struggle that existed long before that immigration process. Definitely, definitely. And we wasn't immigrants. No, <laughs> we that was, well, we that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a whole different type you know of immigration. Saying? It man. wasn't like we came over here willingly. I'm pretty sure we would have. We have before. We've been on this, this part of the earth before, before slavery even took place. But the simple fact was, doing the, the construction of a, the American industry, they needed manpower because the manpower that they had over here was insufficient. So they went over to Africa and they said, hey, we know that there's a, 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 a people that can, that can do this and do that and, and, and they, have, they have all this type of physical attributes and intellectual attributes. We're gonna bring them over here in a, in a subordinate and, and, and um, role, a role that, that, that totally crushes their spirit. We're going, you know what I mean? Because they looked at, now, I don't absolve Africa or Africans, I don't think they call them Africans, but for lack of better terms, black people on that part of the planet, right. they, they, they played a, a crucial role in slavery. A Unfortunately, crucial they did. role. But they looked at it as a business. They didn't know that it was going to transpire the way it transpired. I, I, they did it totally for business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like you're thinking, saying, think oh, we're going to torture these people. I think in the beginning, you're 100% right. I think later on, some of them knew what was going on and continued. Maybe. And, that, and I think that was one thing. Like I've talked to a couple of my other friends that are that are black about that. Mm -hmm. I think that that bothers them a lot as well, right there. Definitely. That, that they were like, <laughs> man, what a betrayal. Yes. What a betrayal yes. of, of to to be walking around in your own village or whatever per se you were doing that day, yeah. and have your own people setting you up yeah. for for sex. Yeah. It's yeah. that had to be a, way more of a. For me, I just have to think if I put myself in that situation, it would have broke my heart way more than just being yanked by some white dude out of the woods and, and yanked onto a boat and, and taken away. Where here's a trust you had within yeah. these people and you didn't even realize they were the devil rolling around right there with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we people try to be unilateral with sleep. They just want to look at it as, as they don't white even, people I think a lot came of, over here. You know, I think a lot of people don't even realize just every the, the, the vast amount of people that were slaves granted what we're talking about here today is the black the black slave in america but for all of y'all that are that narrow it's going to take it, it's every race you can think of has been enslaved at, at one point and brutally um to where it, it, you if you actually take some time watch some documentaries and really just kind of educate yourself on this it will help you understand that not everybody, and, and that no, that more than what you think have been through a struggle in their mm -hmm. lifetime, just like my ancestors were. Mm -hmm. um, and I look back, I watched a couple documentaries on what was going on in England and Scotland and Ireland back then, and the English <laughs> were no joke, man. Yeah. They enslaved the Irish, the Scots. Yeah. They didn't want, they thought they were the, pers the supreme race. Yeah. They did, nothing was yeah. to take place. They uh, looked, at, look at the, the Romans, Irish what and they the did. As, as niggas. Oh yeah. <laughs> they was the niggas yeah. in Europe. So I look <laughs> yeah. back at uh, some of what my great, great grandmother and some of my distant relatives went through back in Ireland and I was disgusted. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Um, it's, so, it's crazy but, how far slavery goes. But y'all, the, the, the Irish, the Scottish, y'all look for some type of recompense from England for their, for I'm, their I'm issue. not sure if, they, if that, I, they I think have, there has been. I think that's where a lot of the, uh, of the, uh, of the battles that have gone over there, the, yeah. uh, what do you call it, the uh, civil, yeah, civil war. the civil wars that have gone on through Scotland and England with, uh, uh, Scotland and Ireland with the English is due to those days uh, yeah. back because I tell you, man, it, I've even watched some stuff when you go back with uh, the Romans and the Egypt and everything and the Hebrew. It, it's it, it's devastating, yeah. man. Devastating yeah. what they've done, what people have done to people. It's sick. Humanity has a depravity about it. You know what I mean? When it comes to greed, when it's come to, to looking to, to, to uh, 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 supplant yourself as a power source, you know what I mean? You're going to do things that others will consider as the prey. Now, 
once that has has failed to exist any longer, do you owe those who you brought harm to, uh, 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 you know, some type of reconciliation? I, I believe, I believe so. I believe. They need us to stop from interaction. What's going on? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So you need to make sure that they need to make sure that. Yeah. You know. Right. <laughs> but yeah. the, 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 the thing about it is, we have to make sure that in a in a in a humane society, we already human, but we have to be humane. In a humane society, we have to ensure that the people that we harm are made whole. We go to prison if we violate laws. If we do the things that uh, uh, America has done systemically. To people, you know what I mean? To 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 continents, to, 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 to civilizations, then they are obligated to make the right. It's just like when they went over to Kuwait or Iran, they pour money. Back. You went over there, you take them, you destroy them, and now you pour in money to help them rebuild that country. But you can't rebuild the country that's killed. The nation within the nation. That's what I'm always disappointed in that. You know what I mean? I've always thought this, and this this may sound, I don't, well, it's going to sound however it sounds, but I stand <laughs> firmly on it. I am disappointed in the United States that we don't take care of our people first. Um, it, it, it's, I'm not shallow as a human being. I don't believe that others that are suffering from other things should be less taken care of. But I agree that each country has an obligation to their people. And... I'm talking about veterans, I'm talking about the homeless, I'm talking about whatever it is that exists inside the United States. If you're a United States born American citizen, I believe that you deserve to be taken care of first and everybody else is secondary. Definitely. And I believe if we do that and take care of our nation first and our people first, that will be great one day. That, that, and, and that's my thing. Now, <laughs> since she's a great one day, you just went over into Trump territory now. <laughs> you make me want to... <laughs> Don't get distracted. Oh, man, no. The Trump word makes him crazy. For the next go-round. But, um, yeah, so... Do you feel as though that... that, that with with, with uh, reparations, mm -hmm. however it may be dispersed, me, myself, you know... The way you described it, I felt was fair. Yeah. When, when you took away and explained how your view of the financial part, mm -hmm. what I, I was just concerned was, you know, when I'm just being honest, and I'm saying from a, from a person who's of my age that didn't exist during that time, doesn't didn't have any play into it at all, mm -hmm. didn't condone it, didn't yeah. partake in it, why am I paying for it? it uh, you know, that's to me, it's like, well, hold on, I feel bad, I, I quit but I've got my own struggle going on <laughs> and I want my money yeah. and it's not that I don't want to help that person but you're asking me to help for something I didn't have nothing to do with. But if you, even if you still reaping off the benefits, would you, would you discontinue the benefits and allow those benefits to go to the person that was home? Sure, I'm comfortable with what I have. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't live. I don't live well. I'm, I'm not rich or famous by any not means of the, the word. Benefits as far as like financial, but just the ability to. Like I said, I, you already know. I believe everything should be earned on merit. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 we spoke that in the first yeah. episode of that we shot here. Yeah. I believe all jobs, all men should earn things through merit. Yeah. I'm the most qualified. I've got the most experience. Definitely. I've put in the most hard work. Definitely. My scores were the best. I deserve that job. Regardless of race, color, skin, or gender. There you go. And you have me in total agreement with that. Yeah, we, 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 we do. A lot of people, you guys will see me and James, and you'll think they disagree a lot. But we actually agree on a lot more than what we disagree on, but that wouldn't make for a great conversation. But how? All right, I'm going to be double advocate right now since you said that. Now, when you're saying that as far as dealing with the academic level and the, the academic skill set, that is particularly a job in the market. Right. Okay. Now, if you graduated, say, from Yale, and then I graduated from Howard, mm -hmm. would that, how would that 
between? I think they're both the same. I, I don't think because you paid to go to paid more to go to one school than the other that you got lesser of an education. So so if you had if you was the child born and you see two applicants that came uh, you got you got a Yale, you got a, a, Yale, of, yeah, a yeah. bachelor's degree from yeah. Yale and, and one from Howard. Howard. Would you give more credits to the Yale? I think, I think in all fairness, if you're asking me personally, no, because I don't believe that way. Mm -hmm. I believe that the system that's in place, yes, most yeah. men or women that are in a hiring position yeah. are probably going to lean towards the Yale graduate because of its prestige or its it's, really? it's past that it's had, it, it's yeah. the it's name latest. that it carries, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But Howard University is a great university. Definitely. Definitely. Oregon State's a great university. But, but then that, that 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 all plays into the the the, the hiring schematic of, of possible possible employers. When they are confronted with somebody who has a degree as opposed to somebody who might have actual physical knowledge of this particular job. Yeah. Who do you give it to? Yeah. And a lot of times yeah. it falls down to a lot of blacks might have the physical ability to complete the job. Sure. But we don't have access to the schooling that looks so beautiful classes across, you know what I mean, the job application and a resume that says, yeah, I graduated Magnum Cool Audi, blah 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 blah. But that doesn't translate to you know what I mean, actually applicable work skill. This is what I've noticed over the last 20 years, and it's been a phrase I've said to a ton of people. I, I, know, I know friends of mine of uh, all uh, colors of skin that have graduated from great universities and are still struggling in the United States in their, in their fields that they got their degrees in. And I told them, I said, it ain't what you know, it's who you know. True. I, I think that's become one of the hugest problems in our society. Um, with getting jobs with companies that uh, can set you in a sense, uh, when I say financially free, meaning that you're living at a comfortable company, at a comfortable place, that at the end of the month you're not worried about how to stretch a dollar. You're, you're out of the struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But at the same time, I, I do believe in order to get into these companies, regardless of color of skin, and, and granted, much harder for, I would say, black or other ethnic backgrounds other than white, because it's who you know. And in most of these large, big corporations, uh, who you know, and the one, at the, one at the top, it's mostly a, a very wealthy white individual. Yeah, yeah, we might, we might go to jail the door, man. Right. Yeah, we might the cook. Hey, they, they might get you in the door. They get me in the door. But then, then it's a, a process to work myself up. But you got other people that's that are in the thing. So you already know it's going to probably, you know, elevate to the position quicker. Now, me, myself, I don't mind working on for that, 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 that crash rate. I don't, I don't mind what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, if you want to give me, me, reparations, then, then just allow me to thrive and, and help my family thrive. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, me, as a businessman, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's difficult when you're looking for a lending institution, you know what I mean, money for a brilliant idea, but you, 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 you meet, you know, a, a, a concrete walls every time you turn around. You gotta devise new plans of how to, to get over this wall, and like that, and uh, America has a lot of fuck that, that wall that they Trump is trying to build down in border about state. We think black America itself has a wall that is, I don't want to say insurmountable because there's nothing really that's I believe it can be it can be busted. It can definitely be busted, you know what I'm saying? But it's 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 a hard, tedious process. And my thing is just just get out of my way. Right. You know, you don't have to give me a handout. I don't want no handout. Give me a helping hand up. You know what I mean? Give me a helping hand up. And you'll get your 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 your, your interest that, back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's how I look at it. I'm not like one of these people like, give me reparations and give me a check. I think that's the oh. first conversation I've had with somebody about reparations and it was legitimately I, I legitimately wasn't offended by
by what they were how they were coming off. No, because you're right. There, there are a lot of people that come across like like just Give me money. right because I'm like I owe them hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I'm like, God, you know, I didn't have nothing to do with that, right? Yeah. Like, and, and, but that's yeah. how they're coming off. I understand their frustration, their their, their, their their energy, but you got to reel that back in and come at a realistic. And I think James has been very realistic. Um, Thank you. For anybody, whoever, whoever does watch this, um, yeah. James is very realistic about that. And I don't think that should offend any white American or any um, other other that, uh, person in the United States of any culture or background. I think that's a fair process. And that's what our whole thing, The Bridge, is about. It's about being fair. Um, that every man deserves an equal shake. That every woman deserves an equal shake and an opportunity to provide for their family and to do what they aspire to do without being having restrictions and holding them back. All day long, you know what I'm saying? This is probably the most common episode we'll ever have. <laughs> I think it might have been because of this. Nah, man. Oh, it was, no, but I think it was just, I think it was a subject that both of us cared a lot about and it, and it wasn't. It, it wasn't really contentious. No. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it, it shouldn't be. It Anybody who's contentious about this has got some hidden, 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 hidden agenda or they are secretly a KKK member or <laughs> they are part of the black power movement that doesn't see anything but black skin. Yeah. There, there's there's definitely something wrong with them if they if they have that type of attitude about it. And they're not gonna be part of the success of, of this country. Yeah. They'll be part of the destruction. I, I, I can't say no better. I like this one, man. This good, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this will be a time where you guys see me and James. Uh, this, I guess, was more of a, uh, of a show that was out there to show you that we both agree. <laughs> Next episode, we're going to disagree on a lot of shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> what, Baltimore? No, we'll, we'll agree a lot on the next one, too, with yeah. AJ. We, we will. Yeah. With Baltimore City, I think we'll find a lot of the in the way we view things. But, yeah, next week, next week should, should definitely be uh, a lot more um, thoughts. Yeah. You know, because this is just me and you, like it, uh, uh, like it was the other day. You know what I'm saying? But um, we welcome you to comment. You know, after y'all see this video, sit back and, and, and think about it. Because I know y'all got y'all feelings on reparations, yeah. reconciliation, and everything like that. Whether it's white, black, brown, yellow, green. Mm -hmm. Disagree with something James said or I said, or you strong. Either way, whether you agree or disagree, please post a comment. Let us get that feedback so that we can hear these. Come other, in. Yeah, please come, come in. in. We, we like to talk and again. The bridge is not about attacking. It's about finding common ground. That's it. Finding common ground amongst men, because at the end of the day, we're all family. And that's just what it is. Now I'm going to end it with that. Appreciate all y'all coming in. Again, this is James Green. Right. I'm all with love. All right. I'm you know saying peace. Be out. This is the bridge. Love. Uh, uh, there we go. That was, that was good.